morning. So today is April 14 and we are on our way to Anilao, Batangas for our open water course. Finally, nagkaroon na kami ng um, day, to day to do this course uh, or this certification and we will be staying sa Bamboo Villa Resort and our dive center will be Maharlika Dive Center. So, let's go and major excited na kami. So, ang magiging travel time natin for today from Quezon City is more or less 3 hours and uh, pwede rin i-wave yung Bamboo Villas Resort like we did. Bale, ito lang yung pin nyo so that you can directly go sa resort nang hindi kayo nahihirapan. So, honestly, napakalaking tulong talaga ni Wade. Ayan guys, so after almost 3 hours of driving, so makas, nakarating din tayo and sobrang ganda dito. Dito pa lang sa harap, nakikita mo yung sobrang relaxing na. And honestly, ito yung gustong-gusto ko sa mga resorts dito sa Anilao. Kasi parang napaka laid back and chill lang. And pagdating namin dito, ang una namin ginawa is pumunta sa restaurant area nila para kumain ng lunch since nagutom talaga ko. So ayun, tapos na kami mag-lunch and babalik muna kami sa room para makapagpahinga. And since Saturday pa magsistart yung open water course namin, Meron pa kaming 2 days para makapag-relax and makapag-enjoy dito sa resort. And this is the view from our room. Masarap magkape dito guys. Ayan, so ito lahat ng gamit na dala namin. Paling, magpapahinga na kami ng konti and then bababa kami mamayang konti. So now, we are on our way sa beachfront because nandun yung dive shop ng Maharlika Dive Center and we decided na doon na rin mag-dinner since may portion ng restaurant dun sa harap. And of course, Titignan natin yung sunset.
Kain tayo guys! So ayun guys, yung day 1 natin dito sa Bamboo Villa and I'll see you again tomorrow. Good morning guys! So katatapos lang namin mag-breakfast and we are now on our way to the pool para mag-snorkeling and mag-practice ng feeling namin para naman hindi kami masyadong ma-overwhelm once mag-start yung course namin. Also, mapapractice na rin kami ng mask cleaning namin kasi honestly, the last time that we did this, medyo... Nagsa-struggle talaga kami, kaya ipapractice namin to ngayon so that kahit pa paano gradually, medyo makukuha namin siya. So, if you're not yet familiar, mask clearing is one of the skills na ituturo sa'yo sa open water course mo at dapat magawa mo siya. So, isa sa mga possible scenarios na pwede mangyari sa'yo when you're underwater is magkakaroon ng too big yung mask mo. So you need to learn how to clear it para hindi ka mahirapan and hindi ka magpanik. So in this skill, sa course mo, your instructor will uh, let you fill your mask halfway and then all the way and you need to clear it. The first time I tried to do this is sa salt water pa. Kaya medyo nahirapan talaga ako, nagstruggle ako kasi nainom ko yung ibang tubig and masakit siya sa lalamunan. So, kaya I know that I need more practice para ma-master yung skill na to. Kaya if ever that you will be taking your open water course and nahirapan ka sa mask clearing, don't worry kasi hindi ka nag-iisa. And honestly, sabi nila, isa talaga to sa mga common struggles ng beginners. Five warm hot dogs. 
bawat siya. Day three. Kain tayo guys! So today, wala kaming planned activities kasi kailangan namin mag-review for our exam tonight. Before we went here, our instructor gave us the e-learning materials and included doon yung manual and yung video na pinanood namin at home para makapag-review kami. Guys, dito sa resort, unlimited yung coffee nila, which is the kape yung marapo. Kaya magkape ka hanggang gusto mo. Ayan guys, so... We'll just take the exam first and we'll see you again tomorrow. Day 4 guys, and today yung pool training namin for our open water course where in tuturuan kami lahat ng basic skills na kailangan ma-master namin as an open water diver. So, isa na doon is kung paano i-assemble ng maayos yung gears mo, mask clearing, crack removal, snorkel regulator exchange, inflatable signal tube, and many other skills. So basically, itong training na to ang magpe-prepare sa amin for recreational dives. And when we say recreational dives, merong limit yung depth or yung lalim na pwede mong puntahan as a recreational diver. And we are only allowed to dive to up to 80 meters or 60 feet. So if you want to go deeper, after your open water class, take the advanced open water course. 
Kailangan din namin ma-master ang buoyancy namin kasi buoyancy is one of the most important skill in scuba diving. Thank <laughs> you. 